Hello everybody, today it's going to be a real quick video. I've had very little free time over the past several days, so this is going to be brief. But today we've got the Chicago mayor runoff election results. Here it is on New York Times, and there's still some votes to count. But Brandon Johnson, he is the winner. He's over 51% of the vote. Paul Vallis is under 49%. This is not much of an upset. The polls that were out at the end did show a close race. There was enough undecideds that it could swing it either way. I thought Vallis would pull it out by a couple of points. Turns out Johnson ends up winning it. So I would not say this is an upset at all, but I do think more people thought Vallis was going to squeak out a win. So we'll see what happens. Will Brandon Johnson solve all of the city's problems, or will he turn into another Lori Lightfoot? And after a honeymoon period of popularity, he'll have a lot of challengers in four years and be voted out. We'll see how it goes. Maybe he's better than people expect. Maybe they regret it. Either way, this election appears to be in the books. Now over here we have the map of who won each ward, and Johnson did do pretty well here. Vallis did win plenty of the wards, but he came up just short. So you can hover over all these, take a look at the margins, or you could click here to see the size of the lead. And then here is the list of all the wards and the breakdown for each candidate. So that is Chicago. There were also some other elections yesterday, and the Chicago City Council is on here. I'm not going to go into that, but take a look at that if you're interested. The other big race here was for Wisconsin Supreme Court, and that had Janet Protasiewicz defeating Daniel Kelly. It's about a 10-point margin, so that technically flips the ideological balance on that court from a 4-3 conservative to a 4-3 liberal. So that certainly could have a lot of impacts going forward. I wonder how it would have been if Daniel Kelly had lost in the primary, Jennifer Doro, if she had won, she was the high-profile judge from the Christmas parade attack. I would think she would be a little bit more electable. Daniel Kelly now, he's a two-time loser for the state Supreme Court. And Republicans, they really have no momentum here in Wisconsin. Ron Johnson, he did win re-election in the U.S. Senate. But as far as high-profile wins, Republicans are not really stringing anything together here in Wisconsin. But now that the Democrats have some wins under their belt, the natural thing to expect is a little bit of complacency, and Republicans are going to feel a little bit of urgency. So going into 2024, that's going to be a big deal. And it really is a swing state, but it does seem like the Democrats have a few more wins than the Republicans. And then finally, there are some additional Wisconsin election results here. There was a state Senate election, and this is a close one, but the Republican there is slightly in the lead. But that just goes to show this was a weak night for the Republicans in Wisconsin. Now, there's also some ballot questions here, and all three of them passed by overwhelming margins. So feel free to look more into those if you're interested. But that is going to be it for me on this video. I've got to keep it a little bit shorter. Plenty of other things I've got to get to. So let me know in the comments. What do you think about the Chicago mayor's race or these Wisconsin results? Let me know your thoughts down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.